Thank you so much to Provost Drell, Koshland, and Lowenstein for their support and for all of these wonderful remarks. In addition, there are a number of other people we'd like to take this opportunity to thank. This event would not have been possible without the dedicated efforts of incredible staff from all three institutions. In particular, I'd like to thank Beth Ponder, Brian Castellano, Jacqueline Tran, Lynette Haberman from Stanford Bioengineering and Stanford ChemH, Liliana Cardile from Berkeley Computing, Data Science and Society, and Chris Kassler from the UCSF School of Pharmacy. I'd like also to specifically thank the units on our three campuses who have demonstrated a long-term commitment to equity and inclusion through their generous financial support of this symposium. From UC Berkeley, we'd like to thank the Department of Bioengineering, uh, Professor Sanjay Kumar's lab through a Gilliam Fellowship stipend, the Baker Fellows Program, QB3, otherwise known as the California Center for Quantitative Biology, the Division of Computing, Data Science and Society, the College of Engineering, and the Office of the Executive Vice Chancellor and Provost. From UCSF, we'd like to thank the Office of Diversity and Outreach, the Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry, and the Office of the Executive Vice Chancellor and Provost. And from Stanford, the Departments of Bioengineering, Structural Biology, Biochemistry, Biomedical Data Science, and Genetics, the Chem H Institute and the Wu Tai Neurosciences Institute, and the Office of the Provost. We'd also like to give a special thanks to the Chan Zuckerberg Biohub, who have not only provided significant financial support for the symposium itself, but in response to last year's symposium, committed $21 million to our three institutions towards a long-term objective of diversifying our faculty. So thank you very much, Steve Quake, Joe DeRisi, Bill Burkholder, and all of the uh, Chan Zuckerberg Biohub Institute. We really are so grateful for support that we've received. Um, a group of uh, folks that I really want to spend some time thanking are the 50 faculty members across all three of our institutions that volunteer to read and review hundreds of applications. Our colleagues have been extremely generous with their time and expertise in helping us to select the very best scientists and citizens from the pool of applicants. A major part of the symposium is engagement of the participants, the honorees we've selected with senior faculty members representing each of our campuses. The mentors and mentees were matched based on shared scientific interests. Each of the participants met with their faculty mentors to grow their, their professional network, to gain additional insights into the faculty search process and to, uh, and to uh, receive specific feedback on the talks that you have already seen and you will see later this afternoon. The mentors uh, by campus are as follows. At UCSF, we would like to thank uh, Tamara Alston, Tejal Desai, Zev Gardner, Andre Goja, Carol Gross, John Gross, Holly Ingram, and Gita Narlikar. At Stanford, We'd like to thank Miriam Goodman, Marcus Covert, David Relman, David Kingsley, Christopher Gardner, Chayton Kosla, Howard Chang, Scott Delp, Will Greenleaf, Ami Bhatt, and Sarah Heiselhorn. And uh, last but not least at Berkeley, we'd like to thank Rasmus Nielsen, Udi Isakoff, Susan Marchese, Gary Carpin, Stephen Brenner, and Dan Fletcher. So there's a lot of excitement that's uh, left this afternoon. Um, we will uh, have our keynote address uh, after a short break, and then we will continue with sessions three and four. Thank you for your attention, but please stay tuned. See you back just before 1230.